Let's take a look at comparing decimals. So here we want to start with the smallest number. Now we can see that they all begin with a three. So what we're gonna to have to do is have a look at the value of the tenths column. So we've got a two, two, zero, one, and a one. So clearly zero is less than a one and a two. So this is gonna be the smallest number, 3.09. So that one's been eliminated. Now we're looking at going back and still looking at the tenths column, two, a two, a one, and a one. So one is less than two. So one of these numbers is smaller than the other. Now, if you're struggling to compare 3.158 and 3.1, because this one has three decimal places, whereas this one only has one, you can always put in zeros to make them the same length. So in the units column, everything's the same. In the tenths, everything's the same. But in the hundredths, we've got a zero and a five. So a zero is obviously less than five. So therefore, 3.1 is less than 3.158. So now we're looking at the numbers that begin 3.2. After the two, we've got a one and a zero. Zero is less than one. So that's going to be 3.207 and 3.216, which is the largest. Another example, we're starting with the largest. So they all begin with a five. So let's have a look at the tenths column. We've got a one, zero, one, zero, zero. So one is greater than zero. So we want what's larger out of 5.101 and 5.1. Again, it can be confusing when we're comparing decimals of different lengths. So fill the gaps with zeros. Five, five, everything's the same in the units. One, one, everything is the same in the tenths. In the hundredths, everything is the same, but in the thousandths, one is greater than zero. So 5.101 is the largest, followed by 5.1. Now we're just comparing the, uh, the three remaining that all begin with 5.0. So we need to look at the uh, values in the hundredths column. So we've got a zero, a seven and a six. So seven is greater than six and zero, so 5.07 comes next. Six is greater than zero, so 5.063 is comes next, and the smallest is therefore gonna be 5.009. So I guess the key thing to uh, bear in mind here is when you've got decimals that have different lengths, put zeros in, if you're confused by the fact that we've got say three decimal places in one number and only one decimal place in another. Make them the same length by sticking in some zeros.